What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Black Ops Cold War. And today, Raven Software kind of gave us an overview of the Black Ops Cold War campaign. I'm going to link all this information down in the description because they did show off some screenshots, a few video uh, snippets here and there, kind of some of the, uh, some of the campaign gameplay. I'm going to go ahead and apologize for any noise in the background. Both my dogs are behind me playing with all their toys out on the floor. So if you hear a bunch of rambunctious noise in a minute, you'll know what it is. But anyway, Raven Software said that they wanted to have that kind of classic Black Ops uh, 1 feel because they said, that they said they really enjoyed that story. And they wanted to find a way to bring back, uh, you know, the trio of Woods, Mason, and Hudson. But to be able to do it without... You know, making people that never played or have made have never played, you know, the series or the, or the campaign. They don't want people to have to have experience with the series. So they said that was kind of a difficult thing to do to be able to bring those three back. But they also wanted to bring new uh, characters into the fold as well to kind of get them to mesh with Woods, Mason, and Hudson. And also, you know, if you're a returning player, you won't have just the original three characters to play with, the ones you've already used in past games. You also have some new characters to play with in the story as well. They said you're going to travel all over the world uh, in the story, anywhere from Amsterdam to Russia to Vietnam. And like I said, it, said it's, it's all begins in a tavern within Amsterdam almost two weeks after uh, New Year's Day in 1981. And it kind of goes on from there to talk about uh, a glimpse into three different of the campaign missions in Black Ops Cold War. It says there will be light spoilers ahead, so I'm not going to talk about this at all, so I don't want to spoil anything. If you would like to read it, like I said, it is down in the description if you'd like to read over it, you know, kind of, or kind of look at some of these screenshots, watch some of these videos. But it is pretty interesting. I have read over it myself, kind of looked at everything, and it is going to be a pretty good story, I have a, I have a feeling. I think Raven has done a good job with this story so far from all the things they have shown off. And I am looking forward to playing the story. A lot of times, you know, a lot of people get into Call of Duty, all they ever play is multiplayer. Every year, I always try to play. You know, if there's a campaign available, I try to play it because there's been a lot of Call of Duty campaigns in the past, in my opinion, that have been very, very good. Now, are they worth buying the game just for the campaign? I would never say yes, even though some of them are absolutely epic. Some of my favorite campaigns, like in shooters ever, but they're always very short. They're never, you know, really, really long. 10 or 15 hours usually have them beaten. Uh, but most people, of course, buy the game to play multiplayer. So, you know, if you're like myself, the campaign is just kind of a bonus. And something else they kind of talked about, um, you know, kind of at the end. It says the team have one message to players before they experience the full campaign on November the 13th. And that was know your history or be doomed to repeat it. Which, of course, has kind of been that theme ever since the campaign was talked about. The campaign was kind of discussed. And I'm not sure if they're trying to hint at something a little more there, a little bit more in detail. Uh, I'm going to be kind of curious to see exactly how this works because, you know, it's going to bounce between uh, the Cold War era and, of course, in the 80s and, of course, back into Vietnam. So it's going to kind of go back in time a little bit within the story. So it's going to bounce back and forth or kind of bounce around while you're playing the campaign. You're going to experience different time periods. So that's going to be kind of interesting to see exactly what that means by when they say history is doomed to repeat itself. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Are you excited about the Black Ops Cold War campaign? And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description. Uh, the community Discord, uh, my Twitter is linked down there, and also the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.